according to public records, Dominion voting machines are used in 2,000 jurisdictions in 30 states. According to experts, if one site has a flaw, other sites are likely to as well, which is why Texas rejected using Dominion software three times, raising concerns that the system was not safe from fraudulent or unauthorized manipulation. That's troubling, given we already know that at least two software glitches in Georgia and Michigan occurred on election night. Attorney uh, Sidney Powell is leading the charge against Dominion, and she says she has enough evidence of fraud to launch a massive criminal investigation. Sidney, thanks very much for being here. We appreciate your time this morning. I want to get right into it. We just heard about the software uh, made by Smartmatic from Rudy, and I want to get your take on what you report, what you and I spoke about just a few minutes ago, and that is a gentleman named Peter Neffinger. Tell me how he fits into all of this. Yes, well, he is listed as its former Admiral Peter Neffinger, or retired Admiral Peter Neffinger. He is president and on the board of directors of Smartmatic. And it just so happens he's on uh, Mr. Biden's presidential transition team that's going to be non-existent because we're fixing to overturn the results of the election in multiple states. And President Trump won by not just hundreds of thousands of votes, but by millions of votes that were shifted by this software that was designed expressly for that purpose. We have sworn witness testimony of why the software was designed. It was designed to rig elections. He was fully briefed on it. He saw it happen in other countries. It was exported internationally for profit by the people that are behind Smartmatic and Dominion. They did this on purpose. It was calculated. They've done it before. We have evidence from 2016 in California. We have so much evidence, I feel like it's coming in through a fire hose. Wow. So, Sydney, uh, you feel that you will be able to prove this. Do you have the software in your possession? Do you have the hardware in your possession? How will you prove this, Sydney? Well, I've got lots of ways to prove it, Maria, but I'm not going to tell on national TV what all we have. I just can't do that. Okay, but you have a very time for a small time frame here. The elections are supposed to be certified in early December. Do you believe that you can present this to the courts and be successful within this just couple of weeks? Well, let me put it this way. First of all, I never say anything I can't prove. Uh, secondly, the evidence is coming in so fast, I can't even process it all. Millions of Americans have written, I would say by now, uh, definitely hundreds of thousands have stepped forward with their different experiences of voter fraud. But this is a massive election fraud. And I'm very concerned it involved not only uh, Dominion and its Smartmatic uh, software, but that the software essentially was used by other election machines also. It's the software that was the problem. Even their own manual explains how votes can be wiped away. Uh, they can put, it's like drag and drop Trump votes to a separate folder and then delete that folder. It's absolutely brazen how people bought this system and why they bought this system. In fact, every state that bought Dominion for sure should have a criminal investigation or at least a, a serious investigation of the, uh, federal, of the officers in the states who bought the software. We've even got evidence of some kickbacks, essentially. Kickbacks. I want to take a short break and come back on that. And I want to ask you about the kickbacks and who took kickbacks in which states. Sydney, stay with us. Quick break, and we've got more breaking news this morning from Sydney Powell. Stay with us. Families trust. It's when we lie. The Medicare event. And should. We are not a dismissal blowers using that fits for family members to sort of what I would call election insurance. Uh, because they know that they can win the election if they are using that software. It's really an insidious, corrupt system, and I can't tell you how livid I am with our government for not paying attention to complaints even brought by Democrats, Carolyn Maloney, uh, Elizabeth Warren, Amy Klobuchar, over the last several years in written letters with 
uh, expert reports and some documentation of how corrupt this software is, and nobody in our government has paid any attention to it, which makes me wonder how much the CIA has used it for its own benefit in different places, and why Gina Haspel is still there in the CIA is beyond my comprehension. She should be fired immediately. Which, which governor or which government official accepted hundreds of millions of dollars in benefits for their family as they took on this software? If I said hundreds of millions of dollars there, I misspoke. I don't know the exact amount of money yet. We are still collecting the evidence on that, but it's more than one. Okay, so you, you, you can't say who you believe took kickbacks. What is the CIA's role? Why do you think Gina Haspel uh, should be fired immediately? You're saying that the CIA is behind the Dominion or Smartmatic voting software as well? Well, the CIA and the FBI and other government organizations have received multiple reports of wrongdoing and failures and vulnerabilities in this company's product. Their own manual, if you sat down and read it, would explain how and why no honest person would use this system. And it's not just Dominion. There are other companies in the voting machine business in this country, too, that may very well and are likely using the same software. We've detected voting irregularities that are inexplicable and align with these problems in other states that think they have valid systems. But the people who bought the Dominion system for sure knew exactly what they were getting. It should never have been installed anywhere. And we are going to show the public exactly how rotten the entire state is. Now, I have spoken with a few whistleblowers myself this weekend, and one source who is an IT specialist told me that he knows the, the software and uh, specifically advised people in Texas, officials in Texas, not to use it, and yet he was overruled. Uh, he said that there was an unusual patch that was put into the software while it was live, and it's highly unusual to put a patch in there. Is that what you're referring to? Tell me how it's done and how these back doors work. Okay, that's part of it. They can stick a thumb drive in the machine or upload software to it, even from the internet. They can do it from Germany or Venezuela even. They can remote access anything. They can watch votes in real time. They can shift votes in real time. We've identified mathematically the exact algorithm they used and plan to use from the beginning to modify the votes in this case to make sure Biden won. That's why he said yeah, he didn't need your votes now. He would need you later. He was right. I mean, in his demented state, he had no filter, and he was speaking the truth more than once, including when he said he had the largest voter, organ voter fraud organization ever. Well, it's massive election fraud. It's going to undo the entire election. And they can do anything they want with the votes. They can have the machines not read the signature. They can have the machines not read the down ballot. They can make the machines mm. read and uh, catalog only the Biden votes. It's like drag and drop whatever you want, wherever you want, upload votes. Yeah. In fact, we've got math in M Michigan and Pennsylvania, I think it is, that all of a sudden hundreds of thousands of votes at a 67% ratio for Biden, 23% for Trump, yeah. were uploaded multiple times into the system. And, and Sydney, you say you have an affidavit from someone who knows how this system works and was there with the planning of it. You, you believe you can prove this? Yes. He, oh, oh, yes. We have a sworn, essentially, a sworn statement from a witness who knew exactly how it worked from the beginning, why it was designed to work that way, and saw mm -hmm. when things started shutting down and they started, you know, stopped counting the votes here, that was the same play that had worked in other countries. Wow, this, this is explosive and we certainly will continue to follow it. Sydney, thank you so much for your work. We will uh, be catching up with you soon.
Thanks so much. We'll be watching. Thank you, Maria. You can be assured Rudy and I will stay on it. Okay.